Here are some spot welding tests of 0.15 millimeter thick nickel strip using a tip center to center distance of 0.17 inches and about six pounds of tip pressure. Since doing the 0.1 millimeter thick nickel test, I've changed the welder leads to one aught gauge. That seemed to move me from about 60% energy going to the tips up to about 75%. So when I give weld energy values, I'm estimating the weld energy to the tips Hopefully it is close to the actual value. At a little under 90 joules, this I felt was the best mechanical spot weld. Almost no stick to the tips and not a lot of tip impression on the nickel strip. And with quite a bit of effort needed to remove both weld spots while leaving two nice weld nuggets. I'm very happy with this weld. This is the waveform showing the 13 volt 10 millisecond weld pulse. The difference between the green and red traces is 24 inches of 1 aught gauge copper wire with a resistance of about 0.2 milliohms. When getting down to cable resistance this low, the resistance of the connection probably starts to have a noticeable effect on the total path resistance. So I don't know if going to larger size leads would even be worthwhile. Now when we drop down to about 75 joules, it still seems to be a moderately strong weld, but the size of the weld nuggets do get noticeably smaller. This I feel would still be an acceptable weld. At a little over 100 joules, I get a little bit of melt on the edge of the weld. Still a good weld, but the nickel does seem to start to tear a little easier. Again, maybe a better electrical weld because the nuggets are a little bigger while giving up some mechanical strength. So probably in the range of 80 to 95 joules is going to give the best welds at this tip distance. Now to touch on what welds didn't do so well. Here at 25 joules, there is some stick, but the nickel strips pull off by hand without leaving any holes. This is definitely not going to hold up. When we get to 40 joules, I can no longer easily pull the tab off by hand, and it leaves just the tiniest of nuggets. Fifty joules is when we start getting two very small nuggets, and I would not trust this weld to handle much current at all. At sixty joules we start to get a solid connection. I really think this would be the minimum needed to do 0.15 millimeters, but I don't think I would put much trust in it. Now when it comes to too much energy, 115 joules and we're really starting to melt into the nickel. At this level we are starting to lose a little bit of tip material. The weld pulls off even easier than some of the underpowered welds. While the weld nuggets are larger, they are much thinner and the nickel just tears very easily at the welds. hundred thirty joules here and the welds just get weaker as the energy goes up and the melt around the welds increases. I just ran this on the full 20 volts to see if it would blow out like the 0.1 millimeter nickel. I think I'm at a little over 200 joules on this one. Definitely starting to get some tip damage at this level and while it didn't blow out like the thinner nickel one of the welds is partially burnt through so I don't think it would take much more energy to start arcing and really damage the tip. One takeaway, even though the 0.15 millimeter is only 50% thicker than the 0.1 millimeter, it took more than a 50% increase in energy to get good welds. I'm sure as I try welding thicker metals, 
the difficulty is going to increase substantially. Thank you for watching.